Hello YouTube, it's your boy to form pick back at it with another review. Today, I'm going to be bringing you my review of the sixth album by Sabaton, which is Carlos Rex. I'm pretty sure it's their sixth. Anyway, sorry, I want to apologize first because this review was supposed to go up yesterday evening, but then basically something happened where I had to kind of evacuate my house very, relatively quickly. And the new place that I was at, I didn't have the time or location on to film. But I'm back at my house, obviously, and sorry if I sound tired, but I've... I got like seven hours of sleep, and I just woke up like less than an hour ago. So I'm super tired, but anyways, that doesn't stop me from bringing you quality content. Quotation marks. Anyways, it's obviously, as I said today, bringing you my review of Carlos Rex by Sabaton. So starting off with my overall thoughts, what do I think of it? Holy crap, this album is absolutely amazing. The first time, I, I've i liked it more and more each time I re-listen to it, because the first time I listened to it, I think I barely placed it over Metalizer on my ranking, and I gave it like a 7.5. And I don't know what I was thinking, because this album is freaking amazing. Like, oh my god, it's a, in my notes it says, it's an absolutely amazing and stunning album. It does an ama amazing job of telling the story that it wants to tell. and Because it's, it's, as far as I know, until the Great War coming up, uh, it's their first album that's telling one continuous story, and that story uh, starts off with essentially um, telling the story of, if I'm correct, starting the story of essentially the founding of Sweden with the Lion of the North. I forgot who the guy's name was. It was Gustavus Adolphus, if I'm not wrong, because that's what it sounds like they're saying in Lion from the North. But anyways, um, and then it goes from basically telling the story of the Thirty Years' War, like God's Me into Unz, Lifetime of War, 1648, all of those are about the Thirty Years' War. And then it goes into the Carolians' Prayer, and from there it's essentially all about Carlos Rex. And it does an amazing job of telling that story. It brings out so many different like themes and emotions, and it's an, it does an absolutely amazing job of like doing that. It's just so good. It's, everything about it is just, oh my god, I urge you to learn the story about Carlos Rex and what the album is trying to tell. The Wikipedia entry for this album has what all the lyrical themes are about. And if you read into each thing like I did, you'll really appreciate this album and the story that it's trying to tell. And as I said, it's originally an album I didn't like very much, but going back, I absolutely love it. You'll see that more when I go into my track by track. But um, the only thing, in my opinion, that could have slightly improved this album is if they focused a little bit more on Carlos Rex, but once again, they told the story that they wanted to tell amazing. That's the story I wanted them to tell, but they were telling the story that they wanted to tell, and it does an amazing job. And this is their first album that's finally well-produced. Took them like what? Uh, Metalizer was 2002, this is 2012? 10 years, took them 10 years, and five studio albums, but they finally got it. And this sounds amazing. It sounds just as good modern quality, and it came out like, seven years ago anyways that's my overall thoughts so now let's get into the track by track so it starts off with i'm gonna butcher a lot of titles because a decent amount of these titles are in swedish and by that i mean like three are anyways so this is dominium maris baltici which means dominion over the baltic sea it's a short but great opener that bleeds perfectly into line of the north there's not much i can say about it it's just 30 seconds and it's basically kind of playing the melody of a lion from the north on strings. And it's a great buildup. And as I said, it bleeds perfectly into the next song, which is the true opener of the album, which is Lion from the North. And this is one of my favorite tracks. It's amazing. It's an amazing, uh, speedy and fast opener. And as I said, it's about it's not about Carlos Rex. It's about Gustavus Adolphus, if I'm correct. And I absolutely love the midsection with the um, choruses, like the chorus singing each line, with obviously starting off with the, uh, I think, female vocals, then going to the male vocals, with the bass and drums playing with it the whole time before Joaquin's vocals come in. It's absolutely amazing. The solo is one of their best, and then everything about this song is just amazing. I It's pretty underrated, and I would highly recommend checking it out. And it goes into a line from the north to the third track, which is Gott mint uns. Pretty sure I pronounced that right, because that's how it sounds like they're pronouncing on the song, which is an which is and it's another one of my favorite songs. It's great lyrics and does a good job of continuing the story pretty much, keeping the album moving, not a lot, making sure it doesn't drag too early. And as I said, it does it a great job. It sounds a uh, kind of more. I don't know how to describe its sound, but it does sound more unique. I would suggest listening to it highly. I would suggest listening to this entire album, but um, I don't know how to describe how it sounds different, but it does sound different if you know what I mean than some of their other songs. So that's track number three, Got Mid Uns, and then it goes into track number four, which is A Lifetime of War, which is a great and somewhat emotional song. The only real issue I have with this song is that 
placed so early in the album, it can feel like it's kind of causing the album to drag a little bit. But once you realize that the story that it's trying to tell really, you realize it couldn't really have been put anywhere else in the album. And as I said, I encourage you to know the full story behind it so you can get a full appreciation because I didn't appreciate or like this song before. But then once I knew this, the real story that this album was trying to tell and that, um, you know, why this track was where it is essentially and what it's about i really learned to appreciate this track and that's track number four lifetime of war and that goes to track number five which is 1648 which is i saw that i'm yawning as i said i'm super tired another great uh speed song uh faster song that brings back the energy that's kind of lost in a lifetime of war i don't think it's quite as good a speed song as line from the north but i don't have any issues with this song it's definitely not a terrible or bad song by any means it's a good song Definitely, it's just, it's not a song I listen to really that often, so there's not much really I can say about it, uh, but the midsection I like about it too. I feel like I say that about a lot, but Sabaton has great midsections in their songs. So 1648, another great song. So the Carolian's Prayer, which is another amazing song, and I love the almost church-like intro with like the organ, because it almost kind of sounds like Power Wolf. Like when I first started listening to the song a lot, every time the song would come on my playlist, I was like, ooh, a Power Wolf song, I wonder what this one is. And the midsection and the solo, once again, midsection, are some of their best. Uh, it would, then this, this is when essentially the album bridges the gap between talking about the Thirty Years' War and talking about Carlos Rex. And it does an absolutely amazing job of bridging that gap. Because this song is about the Knights of Carlos Rex, so it's not yet about Carlos Rex, but it's also really done talking about the Thirty Years' War. So it goes to that to what is next, number seven. Easily my favorite track on this album, the self-titled Carlos Rex. It's not just my favorite on the album. It's my second favorite Sabaton track overall. And my review of one of the next two albums is what my favorite song is. So when it gets to that, I'll talk about that. But anyways, it's my second favorite Sab Sabaton songs I can speak. It's one of their best epics. And I talked about what, what I mean when I refer to epics and I think the Art of War review. And easily the standout track of the album. Everything from the drum intro to the riff to the vocal performance, to the lyrics, everything about this song is just stunning, beautiful, amazing. The, the solo, the opening drum, the dun, 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 I'm pretty sure that's the rhythm. I'm going to stop trying to, to do that. I tried to sing in my Coat of Arms review, and now I'm trying to play air drums in my Carlos Rex review. Anyways, this is easily, it's also obviously one of the more popular songs. It's actually, if I'm not mistaken, their second most streamed song on Spotify with 40 million streams. And it deserves even more than that. Go check it out. It's absolutely amazing. It is the standout track of the album and one of Sabaton's best tracks overall. Then it goes to Killing Ground, which, hey, this is a big surprise. Another great song. I love the second verse with the chanting. The song is about the Battle of Frausdat. I totally pronounced that wrong. I don't speak Swedish. I said that in one of my other Sabaton reviews. I said that in the Terra Dominatus review, I think. I don't speak Swedish. I'm yawning so much, but I'm seriously ridiculously tired. And the chanting and energy really makes it feel like that. Like, the, essentially, a war song, a battle song. And, because, as I said, it's about a battle. And it really helped, obviously, everything from the energy to the song, to the riff, to the vocals, to the lyrics, to the vocal performance, it really helps the track feel like a war song, essentially. And then it goes to Killing Ground, to probably my third favorite track in the album, because my second is Lion of the North, which is Poltava, which is another personal favorite of mine. I love the energy that it brings, although it sounds kind of, in my opinion, I could be the only one who thinks it's a little similar to Killing Ground, even though I do like Poltava better. This is kind of, it's about the battle of Poltava, which is the one that the Swedish lost. If I'm not mistaken, it was against the Russians. And this is where they lost. So this is essentially, after this, it's the next two are slower, more sad tracks because it's about the death and funeral of Carlos Rex. And another tiny issue I have with it is I wish it spent a li the album in total, is I kind of wish it spent a little more time with Carlos Rex. But I feel like it also might have made this album feel much longer than it is. And it's already uh, around 50 minutes, but it's an amazing 50 minutes. And then goes from Poltava to number 10, which is Long Live the King, which is, as I said, essentially about the death of Carlos Rex. Both the lyrics uh, and instruments fit the theme and the lyric, the theme of it being the leader's death. And then it's a very, what I'm trying to say is it's a fitting song for his death. It's about his death, and it feels like a fitting song about his death. That's the best way I can describe it. So now it goes to number 11, which the final track on the album, I'm going to butcher this so hard, it's Rina Imperi, 
it's I don't know how to pronounce that at all but it's an amazing album closer it's about the funeral of Carlos Rex and it honestly feels like something that could be played at someone's funeral it's first basically what I'm trying to say is it's a perfect ending to a nearly perfect album I love that it's essentially kind of I almost want to say kind of bittersweet but it feels way more bitter than sweet because it's about you know the death of their leader it's such a, it fits that so well it feels like a funeral song yeah, sorry, I got like dead quiet there. I thought my door opened and I'm holding one. Anyways, so that's my track by track by Sabaton. So by Carlos Rex by Sabaton. I'm too tired to be doing this. Anyways, so what are my closing thoughts? Carlos Rex is an amazing, beautiful, and stunning album. It does an amazing job of telling the story it wants to tell, which is also an amazing story. I highly recommend this to anyone who's looking for a good album, good Sabaton album, good metal album, good album in general. Now this, the overall score I had to think about for a while, I listened to this album like three times yesterday, and the fact that I was able to do that really shows the quality. But overall, I'm gonna give Carlos Rex by Sabaton a 10 out of 10. I think it deserves it. It's absolutely amazing, as of now, it's obviously been my favorite so far. Anyways, that's my review for Carlos Rex by Sabaton. Thank you for watching, do you agree? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see all you people in the next video, which should be up tonight, which is a review of Heroes by Sabaton. If not tonight, it'll be up tomorrow. Thank you for watching, goodbye.